everybody. We're back again on the hawk, like always. <laughs> Okay then, at least it didn't crash, still annoying. Oh, I got an idea, let's go to Downtown Disney. Oh, it's not Downtown Disney anymore, isn't it? It's like, they call it something else. Was it like, oh, it's like Disney Springs or something. That's what they call it now. Still Downtown Disney to me. always Disney, downtown Disney when I grew up. I used to love going there because it's like, it's a really cool little place. It's like free Disney pretty much. It says everything there is like shopping and, and restaurants. The only problem is uh, everything's expensive. Like, you know, if you think like, oh, it's, it's expensive at like the mall, think like twice that at Disney Springs. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to go hang out and just walk around at night. I don't really, I haven't been since the whole shutdown thing, but before uh, viruses were a thing, <laughs> uh, it was a really fun place to go. So yeah, growing up, uh, I got lucky because my, my grandparent, my grandpa, uh, it was my great grandpa actually, because my, my grandma's dad, so that's like great grandpa, I think, right? Yeah. Anyway. He uh, actually worked for Disney, and he um, he helped build the park. But yeah, uh, he helped build it. It's a small world, and uh, yeah, I think he even has a he even has a brick in the, one of the like entrances to Magic Kingdom. There's a brick, and he has one of the like the original bricks that they had when they first built the park here in Florida. But as a result, I got free tickets as a kid, so I used to go every single year, and. Uh, they have gotten a little bit less uh, giving with the free tickets for their employees, or especially their retired employees. I think their current employees, they get a much better deal than the retired employees, which, and it was what it is, it's just the changing times, I guess. be like so back in like when I was a little kid it was pretty much any time you wanted to go you could go especially if you were a retired employee because like you got tickets for life pretty much and you technically still do get tickets for life but you only get like I think it's like three tickets a year now whereas before it was pretty much whenever you wanted to go you could just go oh yeah and uh, I got a new bike on the way <laughs> Yeah, I've been saving up. It was uh, so I've been saving up some money, and I was going to buy a new bike. My original plan was to buy like a like a real, not really a real bike, a bike from like the you know a name brand bike, I guess. <laughs> and um, I could I, I talked to some dealerships. I worked out the deals, and I had enough money to buy one, but like I couldn't pull the trigger because. It was insane. The dealer fee was like 1500 bucks in total. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't pull the trigger. I couldn't spend the money, that much money, on just, like, fake stuff. Like, I'm sure it's a, they actually did stuff. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is, like, I'm not going to spend $1,500 on something that I could have easily done myself. And uh, so I looked around to kind of find a couple other deals, tried to find other dealerships that didn't have dealer fees like that. Uh, but everybody was like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on top of the sticker price. So yeah, like a, a rally is like what, like five, six grand, like just under six grand on the sticker price. 
but then when you include all the fees and taxes especially the dealer fees now you're over seven grand it's like almost a thousand dollars more just because the dealer has to like charge you a dealer fee what like come on man so I know I wanted to do something adventure worthy because I wanted to get into like a venture bike segment and uh this is shopping around looked at some Chinese versions and uh so I ended up pulling the trigger on something uh unexpected I'm sure a lot of you'll be like what are you talking about but don't worry I'm still gonna do the hog videos I'm still gonna keep this thing there's no sense in trading it in or selling it I couldn't avoid the dealer fees entirely but I got myself a, a CSC RX4 so couldn't avoid it entirely couldn't avoid the dealer fees this is hard to do 400 bucks is a lot less than 1500 bucks so <laughs> I'll take it <laughs> and it is you know they pretty much when I talk to the dealer at CS I called him up and pretty much everything that the dealership wanted to charge fifteen hundred dollars for they did for four hundred dollars so you can't tell me that that's not like you can't go down on fifteen hundred bucks that's insane I still I'm still like mind boggled by like how much money they want to charge you for a dealer fee Ooh, nice Raptor we're in Disney this is like Disney Springs and uh, this, this is all like the touristy area I think Disney the, the Disney police even have cop cars with the little Disney logos on it it's, it's pretty insane if I can find one we'll take a look but hopefully I can find one it's just it's, it's funny oh that's a sheriff so he doesn't have the the Disney logo oh, there's the blimp Disney Springs, formerly Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney just sounds better, honestly. empty oh perfect view of the blimp though it's not the best view of Disney I don't know if y'all can see that that's kind of cool And there's Circus de Soleil. Um, there's Planet Hollywood. That little like globe thing right there. Yeah, there's Planet Hollywood. And that's like downtown Disney or Disney Springs. It's probably like super uh, like dead. And there's the blimp land taking a land. It just goes straight up and then straight down. Nothing too exciting.
that's it. I don't know. That's kind of just, I wanted to like, honestly, like, there's just times where you just want to go like, get out and just ride. And this is one of those days. Alright, anyways, as I was rudely interrupted, so that's pretty much it, y'all. I just kind of wanted to go cruise around, figured I'd bring you guys with me. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. It'd be super dope if y'all subscribed, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.